I'm Mike Ryan, and here's what's been happening around Martin County. County Administrator Taryn Krizda shared the past year's accomplishments with the public at the annual State of the County Address. Highlights of the presentation included the addition of new county amenities such as Sailfish Splash Water Park and improvements to Indian Riverside Park. A focus on environmental protection efforts such as the Speak Up for the St. Lucie campaign and stabilization of Bird Island. Going green with energy efficiency improvements and green construction and the increasing use of technology to improve and innovate. The presentation also gave a brief analysis of the local economy and outlined the board's strategic goals for 2013. A local historic gym took center stage as commissioners and attendees cut the ribbon to dedicate the restored new Monrovia one-room schoolhouse. Residents, local elected officials, and quite a few former students were on hand to celebrate the building that almost wasn't. The historic schoolhouse is located in what is now known as Port Salerno and is believed to be the only remaining one-room schoolhouse on the Treasure Coast. Constructed around 1930, the 800 square foot wood frame structure was one of the first schools built in Martin County to educate African American children. Over the years, the building fell into disrepair and was in danger of being taken down. However, restoration and reconstruction efforts led by the county's General Services Department have ensured that this historical treasure is preserved for future generations. As part of the restoration, the school received a new roof, floor, ceiling, windows, and doors. Inside, green chalkboards hang from the original locations on the wall and replicas of the students' original wooden desks built by South Fork High School carpentry students line the room. Former student Doc Anderson weighed in at the event with his thoughts on what he hopes students will learn from visiting the schoolhouse. Well, you know, education uh, has changed so much over the years. They have technology, they have everything. They have uh, computers, they have cameras, they have everything. We didn't have that. Yet, I can name you numbers of people that went through the school system that are successful people in life, okay? They went on to be doctors, lawyers, or whatever. And then we complain sometimes about the state of the art schools that, that we have built for our students with millions of dollars. And, and uh, you know, sometimes I think they need to come and see this so they could have more of appreciation for what they really have. In addition to hearing some very moving speeches from officials and staff, local historians, and former students, event attendees toured the schoolhouse, viewed historical displays, and were treated to a performance by the Murray Middle School drumline. Here's Commission Chair Sarah Hurd with her feelings on this fantastic restoration project. I feel terrific. It, I didn't know that there was such a concerted effort throughout the years to tear this building down. So we are so lucky that it was saved from destruction time after time after time again and we restored it thanks to um, the community asking us uh, to protect this unbelievably important historical asset. Florida Governor Rick Scott recently took time out of his busy schedule for an event important to the local economy. Aviation equipment manufacturer Turbo Combustor Technology held a ribbon cutting for a $16 million expansion project at its Stewart location. A portion of the funds for the expansion were provided by Martin County as commissioners voted in October to approve a $900,000 grant to match potential state funding. The project was supported by the Business Development Board of Martin County, the county's official economic development organization. The event was well attended by media, local dignitaries, community leaders, and members of the business community. Martin County Commission Chair Sarah Hurd spoke at the event in support of the local business. And in another segment of In Their Shoes, County Administrator Taryn Krizda spent the day with general services staff at the Martin County Jail. In order to get a first-hand look at some of the jobs and duties of the county's employees, Taryn spent time replacing emergency lights and performing general maintenance and repair duties at the Holt Law Enforcement Center campus. Here's Taryn with her impression of the staff at the jail. What I got from them is that they, they have a great working relationship with here with the sheriff's office and the corrections officers that work here at this jail. Um, they've, they've developed a great, great rapport. Uh, they feel very safe here as they're working here and um, they en actually enjoy uh, being assigned here to the jail. Until next time, I'm Mike Ryan and that's a look at what's been happening around Martin County.